Welcome to the B. Lenore Show. Here we will discuss lifestyle, beauty, celebrity gossip, and current events in our own way, my way, B. Style. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. everybody hello 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 and we are back we are back honey i couldn't have planned that better if i tried it's so crazy i didn't get home until um um oh about 45 minutes ago at the at the earliest 45 minutes ago um and when I came in, I was like, oh, I just need a minute. I'm running in. I told you guys earlier that I was going out uh, for a bit. I'll be back probably around nine. Honey, it was 945-ish, okay, when I got up in here. And then I needed to do a couple of things to settle down and, you know, before I settled down. And then um, I saw, I was like, oh, Grown Woman Vibes is still live. Okay, okay. So I'm listening in to, in you know, listening in to her show, probably only, probably the last 30 minutes, because once I got here, I took out the trash, came back, um, had to run downstairs for something else, came back up. And so probably just the last 25, 30 minutes, I still have to go back and listen to her entire show. Um, <laughs> excuse me. So I'm looking forward to going back to here with the whole show, you know, her take on everything. But, um, she, I had said to myself, well, look, I promise I'll be back. You need to come back. I was like, let me just schedule it for 1030. Right. This was about, it was less than 30 minutes from 1030. So it was probably about 1010. I was like, let me just plan, just say 1030. I'll go live at 1030. You know, we'll put in some time, get in some work, and then we'll get out. And sure enough, why did she end her thing like right at like 10 27? <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, that's perfect. So I'm not missing any more of a good show that I've already missed the majority of anyway. So, anywho, how is everybody doing tonight? Let me say hi to you guys in the chat. Let's see. Hey, Black Not Bitter. Hey, The Duchess. Hey, Moz, Snoopalicious, Miss Buckeye 99. Hey, hey, CW. Hey, hey, Janice Linton, Vicky 1973, Tamara Palmer. How are you? Uh, Timo, Prima Wanda. Uh, is it Nick Nice Lady? NC Nice Lady? I think it's NC Nice Lady. Is that right? Hi. <laughs> it feels so good. Succeeding too. Hey. Hey, tell the truth. LG. She's an introvert. Cherise Shelton. Lorraine Hurd. Venice Brown. Hello. Hello. Cross Country Cruiser. How are you? I said what I said. None your business. Tracy Chappelle. Uh huh. Hey, Chef Fine as Wine. How are you doing, Chef Fine as Wine? I reached out to our mutual person, you know, our mutual friend. Well, she's your friend. I, I, I hope that, you know, I'll get a chance to talk to her. So um, hopefully we'll get her over here, you know, soon um, for an interview. You know who I'm talking about. You know who I'm talking about. Okay. Uh Jim and I love Nesto Singical. <laughs> Hi, Nesto Singical. Hi, Jim and I love. Hi, Mary. Hey, Nola Brown. Yes, Cupcakes, Sherry Anderson. All right, y'all. 313, the best side. Hi, Vibe. Julia Sutton. Okay, y'all. Juju. Hey, 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 cutie pie. Okay. <laughs> 
I'll be here all night. Okay, but thank y'all for coming. Thank you for coming back on over here. Um, yes. Uh-oh, what'd you say, Chef on his line? That would be great. Just grab the agent phone number if you need it. I think I have it. Okay. Okay, you have my email address still. Okay, yes. Or I'll, I, I can email you too, either way. Thank you, Chef on this one. Okay. All right, y'all. So let's get back into this mess. Okay. Oh, but first, let's give a little Sonia tea. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if y'all already talked about this. If you were on somebody else's platform today, they may have, honey. But um, while we were live earlier, honestly, this thing had come through that I saw earlier um, and I had it open. I still have it open from earlier because I was going to show it to y'all, but then I had to run out, remember? So uh, let's just give some Sonia updates, okay? Update number one, which I'm sure most of y'all know by now, is her channel is gone. What her channel gone, y'all? Her channel is out of here, okay? Now, unless she reinstated it, maybe she put it on incognito, which I don't even know she even knows about incognito, but, you know, who am I? I don't know what she knows. Um, but I do believe that that thing is gone. But let me just double check. I will put in the work as we speak. Let's see. Is it gone or is it not gone? Mm-hmm. Up, oh, it's back, it's back, it's back. Ain't that some shit? It ain't gone, child. It's back. It ain't gone. It's back. She must have been an incognito. Mm-hmm. Wonder what that's about. Wonder who taught her about incognito. Okay. So she back. Okay. So update. She's back. Okay. <laughs> However. When I thought she was missing, I I didn't know who else might also be biz, uh, missing. And the reason why I say that is because from the looks of it, let me just pull this up for you so you can see it. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and the reason why I didn't know if someone else was missing is because I didn't know if this lady here, who is the owner, the real true owner of this face, if that person was missing. And maybe if Sonia was missing, she really wasn't missing. It's just that she had snatched the face of this other lady and put it on her face. Okay. Okay. Hoppo, who is this? Who this woman? <laughs> Hoppo, who this woman? Who is this woman? And 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 how old is this here woman? I, I need to know. And and what color is this here woman's eyes? I I need somebody to help me. Um, who is this woman? Is what I want to know. Okay. Can someone tell me? Because whoever it is, I believe she's missing. I think she's missing. I think she is missing. We don't know where she is um, because her face appears to be in this picture here on Sonia's body, I believe. Okay. Um, however, I don't know who this woman is with these eyes and this youthful look. I mean, my God. Okay. How old is this young lady? Is she 22? 19? How old is this young lady? And where is Sonia? Okay. So that's all I wanted to say about that. Let me, let me unshare. I'll stop sharing there. Mm-hmm. So that's the updates uh, regarding Sonia. Okay. So there's that. Now, earlier today, we were listening to the recent phone calls that were dropped over at phone calls 
from prison. Okay. Um, we were over there down to phone calls from prison streets, uh, uh, hang out at her house. She and her husband, they're so hospitable, um, very kind people, you know, very giving, very generous, generous enough to allow us to eat. Okay. Eat right on off of their place. Okay. <laughs> so thank you so much, Shay and hubby from phone calls from prison because uh, I'm eating um, right now. Okay. You're feeding the kids. Okay. And uh, we are eating. I'm eating right now, having a second helping of this here saying video. Okay. And I'm going to enjoy it. Okay. Bite by bite. With that said, so there was uh, a video earlier that dropped. And I think the first call was dated. Ah, jeez. I don't even want to say right now. Let me see. Can I see that in the... As you know, I, I got it set right from where we um, where we left off. So I really don't want to... Let's see. What is the time? Okay. 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 So this first one... Looks like it is, uh oh, December 12th, 2023. And then this next one is on the 13th. Okay, so they're a day apart. Okay. So we are just getting through, uh, or just getting started with this video. All right. So we're going to go back, finish off there. Uh huh. And then I think that's it, right? And then I said, you know, we could dabble into some of that Sonia interview. But, oh, I said I would play again what she said about Dion. Yeah, I think I think it's kind of cool now. We were able to put all the, the puzzle pieces together. Like, oh, this conversation came before this. Oh, this is why this conversation took place because this happened, you know, that kind of thing. It's kind of cool to kind of see it all come together like that. Um, and it keeps us interested. Actually, hold on one second, y'all. All right, so let me um go ahead. Wait, is this the right one? Okay, yeah. Okay, so let me share my screen. Okay. All righty. Okay. All right, here we go. On their shit. That's what it is. That's not on their shit. So you saw that. You got mad. And, you know. Here, let's go back a little bit just to get some context. That I'm the only one. And I'm I taking heard, all these. I heard, I heard, I heard. Right. So it's like, but that's your response. You get me? Right. That's, that's okay. Fine. They're going to pay in the wind. Uh, it's moving on. That shit going to move on. It's, it's, I done made my mind. I woke up this morning with that. Well, I didn't wake up. I thought about right. it last night. Yeah. Well, so. that's just what people try to say when they can't own on their shit. That's all it is. That's not on their shit. So you saw that. You got mad. And, you know, even though I asked you to help a couple of times, you know, and you just keep deflecting and talk about what you got going on and, oh, what about me? And I'm sitting here like, oh, my God, are you serious? What about you? What the hell? Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure you heard that before because you told me. Huh? That. I'm pretty sure you heard that from other people before. I don't deal with people. No, in your lifetime, you have. So. Hmm? Now, you know I don't people whine. You know people whine. Oh, honey. Um, no, I don't deal with people. <laughs> I deal with my siblings. That's it. Uh, that's it. And, yeah, and, that's and where we're we not built like that. So we don't. So. You know, they be on some other shit, but not that type of shit. You get me? But no, I don't. Um, that's that generation, huh? That's not our generation. We different. I don't deal with that generation, other than my kids. 
Why does it feel like um I'll be honest, like the vibe I get, even though he is asking her, like, you know, trying to change the subject, it seems, or asking her what else, she, you know, what did she do today or how was your day or whatever. To me, he really sounds like he doesn't even want to be on this call. Like to me, he sounds like he wishes he could just hang up right now. But on the flip side, for to me, it's almost as if she picks that up. It's almost like she's speeding up conversations, you know, uh, stepping on his his words to avoid him saying, let's get off the phone. Now, I, I could be misreading this completely, but it feels very awkward to listen to them both. Like, I feel like half the time they don't really understand each other. Like he's over here saying, I'm sure you've heard that before all your life. I don't think that that's, I, I don't know. I just think that, that it, it's very odd and sometimes uncomfortable to listen to them talk. <laughs> I want to say it makes me feel weird. Like, ugh, I don't know, but okay, let's listen though. To me, he seems like he really wants to hang up, but he's trying to, you know, act a little interested, but she sounds like a, a child almost who doesn't want daddy to go. You know how le at least I was like this. I didn't want my daddy to go to work. I didn't want my daddy to go nowhere without me, period. That's it. That's all. <laughs> you can't go nowhere without me. Um, and I, I would, oh, it would just eat me up. I would do everything to keep him from go. If he had to go to the store, I'm supposed to go too. So if I do everything to delay, especially if he had to go to work, oh Lord have mercy. I would try my, my best to delay him getting out the door, you know, and stuff like that. So that's what she sounds like to me. Like someone that just doesn't want daddy to go, you know, and I don't want to hear daddy say he has to go. So I'm, a, I'm going to talk on top of him. You know, I'm going to speak over top of him so that I can shut that down. It just sounds like that to me a little bit. So I'm going to go back just like uh, 30 seconds so you can like think about it from those <laughs> from what I just said and see if you hear it differently. Let's see. I didn't read the whole set, but yeah, that's what was said. Okay, so, how, how was your job today? My life, I did a lot today. Oh, it okay. went well. It was kind of tough because they were going in, you know what I'm saying? And of course, you got people that are just so, he doesn't even know about your channel. With everything. Y'all just don't get all the calls. How about that? And why does he need to know about my channel? You know? And he just kept trying to do the uh the whole, you know, they kept going for the um they kept asking me dumb questions about um Shirley. And I'm thinking like, I don't talk to her, why would you ask me that? You know what I'm saying? Well, how does she feel? I'm like, I don't know, like do y'all ever hear me talking to her? Like, where do y'all get that from? That would be wow. weird. They're yeah, like, why would you ask me that? I'm like, that's dumb to say that, you know? Oh, well you just a uh, honey please. I want I want them to to, to be together and be happy. That's what I want. Y'all keep with this narrative that I'm trying to take, you know, like some women that come into a situation and be like, when are you getting divorced? You know, when is it going to be me and you? I'm like, that's not our situation. So stop trying to make that the situation. That's not the situation. The situation wow. is friends. But y'all want to, I just can't be just friends because why would you? Well, y'all got some fucked up friends. And I said it too. I said, y'all got fucked up friends. So my friends are hard for me. Wow. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See, Not everybody I call all cap. We're friends, Sonya. <laughs> you just said you don't deal with people, that you only deal with your siblings, girl. You just said that. Like, we just, how the hell did you say it? You just said it, ma'am, that you don't deal with people, you only deal with your siblings. That's the first thing you said. 
Okay. You also said you don't deal with that generation, but you do date that generation. It make it make sense. Do you deal with them or no? Okay. Your vet is the one friend and uh uh and her siblings. Okay, that's it, that's all. So what friends are you talking about that go hard for you? And where are these friends when they hear about you and, and Nesto? This whole storyline you got going on with this Nesto character. What kind of friends are they with friends like that? You don't need no damn enemies. Shit, you are a enemy to yourself, it seems, okay? Man. But okay, let's continue. I'm fortunate, but I said people I deal with, they go hard for me. So maybe y'all don't, you know, understand that concept without it trying to be from in game. What do you want after all this is over? I want him to be happy with his wife. And if she doesn't that many, is that many questions you had? I had 300 people on my life. What? Mm -hmm. Well, I had 300 people. Okay. At my highest was 336. And it went for three hours. Oh. <laughs> and okay. I bet she wasn't saying much of anything. What is that the live that, um, is that, that's not the Carl Thomas live, right? Is it? It's not, that's not the same live, is it? The live she did with her? Or is it um, another live? She hasn't done too many. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, so that's the one that, um, that Bougie posted earlier then, huh? Okay. I bet, was it interesting? How many of y'all sat through that live? Because I don't think I could do it. Not no damn three hours. Lord have mercy. Okay, yeah. I don't think I saw that one really because that's when I was I was out in California. And I want to say I was at a show that night on the 23rd. So, mm -hmm. okay. Well, let's get back into it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Somebody got on there was talking mad shit. Couple people. And <laughs> the girls was like, you hung in there. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, you got some people that's just going to be bitter and be hateful. And just, you know, I said, but the main thing is I, I don't want people to say things that's going to hurt his case. And we all just like, Cubby kept saying, oh, you even going to get indicted with him. I said, girl, there has to be a crime for an indictment. You know how? I said, uh, um, I haven't committed a crime since I was 25. I was not going to be honest about my shit, um, about the shit I did. I said, but that was 30 years ago. Let's be clear. And it wasn't, it was in Ohio. So, um, we ain't going to talk about, um, just talking. I said, I'm talking about what's on the warrant. This is what's on the warrant. I can't, I said, I talked to him. He can't talk about his case. He's only been, he's been in jail. He can't talk on the phone. So why would I know anything? He said, like he sounds dumb. He's in jail. He cannot discuss his case. No parts of it. So I don't know. I only know what's on the warrant. That's all I know. I read the warrant. That's all I can go by. You know, that's it. That's a one sided story. That's all it is. But if that's all you could go by, Sonya, why have you jumped 10 feet ahead claiming to know that he's innocent and giving out these scenarios as to how? it should have played out to prove he was innocent. Like, how, how is it that that's all you know? If that's all you know, then maybe you shouldn't be making excuses uh, for him while shaming the victims. All of the victims. Uh, it's, it's sad. But let's listen. One side of four. You know, oh. so why did you believe him? He said he didn't do it. And then Stanley said he didn't do it. I said, so, let's go with that. You know, I said, because the family knows better than I do. So, the family said, that ain't him. Then I ain't him. And somebody was asking me about God. Did I believe in God? And I was like, no. <laughs> what are you spiritual? No. He asked me some other religious question. And I was like, no. <laughs> oh, it doesn't make me a bad person. I don't believe in the devil. I don't support the devil. 
I just don't, you know, do the God thing. I said, but I'm, you know, I said, I, I trust, I teach, teach all, not teach, you know how I do I respect all living things. And I said, that's how I live my life. If you're alive, I, I respect you, you know. And that's the only way you can be. You say you're saying I got up to 200. Who that? I'm going to say 336. Huh? I said, my wife went to 336. And I was like, when are you coming back on? When do we get the video about the shooting? I got to talk to my niece about that. She was supposed to release that tonight. Release what? <laughs> my video on my shooting, because everybody could ask me about the shooting. So, oh, so where the video? Oh, you made a video? I made a video. Yeah, because they have to put that thing out. And then, you know, she put that, I don't know. Do I have this to go up there? I didn't park my car. I forgot about that. Yeah, so she put that narrative out there about the shooting, which she should have never did. So, and people already asked and stuff, but that other. But they're like, what are you going to do with your channel? I'm about to change it with nothing else because I want a male, a more male audience. So, a couple of people got on there that has an understanding. See, the problem is that audience don't have an understanding of the criminal justice system. So, they just think, you know, it goes like it's supposed to go. You, you, you get a fair trial and, you know, everything like they think like that. And I'm like, I, I think, uh, I, I I'm not going to say everybody knows. I'm going to say a good majority of, of people know, most specifically black people know. And I'm going to go a, a step even further and say that this particular audience is, a, is aware of that. Okay. We are very, very aware of the criminal justice system and how it actually works and and the areas in which it's effed up and the areas in which we can appreciate, okay? Uh, at the end of the day, just because the black man you know says he's innocent doesn't mean he's innocent. And when I say the one you know, I'm using that term no very loosely. You don't know him, okay? You don't just like you don't know if he's guilty or maybe you do know he's guilty. Like we know he's guilty. Okay. <laughs> maybe you do know, and you just out here thinking you're playing in our face. Now that could be what you're thinking, but, um, I got news for you. You're only fooling yourself, ma'am. Okay. Not us, not me. Okay. We're not, we're not going, but, but continue. Like, that's not how it goes, honey. That's a facade. That shit ain't never been like that. Hold on. Yeah, because this shit crazy. I, I don't, don't No, one girl got on that nurse. Hey, Sean. Oh. I'm going to call you back when I left the phone. That's all. I'm you on live. You saw me on live. <laughs> I'm seeing you on live. <laughs> oh, you're so stupid. <laughs> what you say? What was your name? That was me. I didn't see it. I, what did you say? Were you saying something nice or saying something mean? <laughs> okay, this is where I got confused. Who is this man? Who is he? It, it's not her brother, right? Because her brother wouldn't be talking about her breasts, right? So who is this man? Is he somebody just from her chat? Who is this man? I'm very confused of who he is because the reason why I'm super confused is because he evidently he knows Nesto is on the phone and he and Nesto talk. And he, they they've spoken to one another, one another in the past. I'm very confused. Who is this man? That's her Detroit friend. OK, but he, so he was in the chat and so he know. This is very weird. I'm going back just a little bit because I didn't even understand why he got on this call. And for him to say, your titties is looking good. Does that seem like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's how Nesto and his freak off friends do. I don't know. Let's listen. Of the criminal justice system. But I think, you know, it goes like it's supposed to go. You, you, you get a fair trial and, you know, everything like they think like that. And I'm like, that's not how it goes, honey. That's a facade. That shit ain't never been like that. Hold on. Yeah, because this shit crazy. 
hold on. Are you saying obsessed with the mess? Are you saying that this is a guy she used to date? Is that what you're saying? Wait, Vic to the Veil said some supposed supposed um, Detroit friend, but he sounds like a pimp and is also married. Former pimp of Sonya. Why y'all keep saying he's a pimp, y'all? Stop saying that. Yes, and she she knew he was me. So why is he on the phone with Nesto? Like, none of this seems odd. I'm the only one thinks that this is a weird conversation to be having with your man and your ex-man and your ex-man is saying your titties is looking good and Nesto, all he can do is chuckle at this shit? This is weird. But, okay, I'm going to listen. Yeah, I don't know. No longer got on Hey, Sean. I'm going to call you back when I left the phone. You saw me on live? You saw me on live? Are you so stupid? What you say? What was your name? I didn't see it. What did you say? Were you saying something nice or saying something mean? Ain't no way in hell. First of all, ain't no way, ain't no man that I have ever dealt with would have been okay with me just out the blue calling or answering the phone of another nigga. That a nigga that I used to date, and then I put him on speaker only to hear this fool say, Your titties is looking good, and then said nigga laughs. No, this wouldn't this is nothing I've ever seen in my life. This I've never seen said man ever, said men. Uh, or said woman who would be foolish enough to deal with said men. I don't even understand what's going on here. This is so weird. Uh-uh. It's very weird. Okay, but here. Hey, what was your name? I didn't see it. I, what did you say? Were you saying something nice or saying something mean? <laughs> I ain't see that coming. Stupid. This is ridiculous. Hey, C.A. Williams, thank you so much for the super chat. Uh, you said uh, she tries to make Nesto jealous. He doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't. He doesn't give one, not two or three. Oh, Siri. Uh-huh. Hush. There's nothing to stop here. Hush. Siri is so damn nosy. And in my business, eavesdropping all the damn time. Anywho, what was I saying before Siri got in this shit? Um, bottom line is, I don't know no people like this, okay? I, I just don't. So let's listen. <laughs> That's all it's there. Somebody ain't seen taking that motherfucker. Why you like? <laughs> <laughs> you a dog. I didn't even see none of that. Man, it was, you know, you know, that oh, you were going when she was going. She became so annoying, but I was oh like, they were like hating her. Everybody was like, when is she going home? You're right, that's what everybody kept saying. When is she going home? I was like, oh, this is not your audience. Because she was, you know, but, you know, trying to help her sound like, like everybody was annoyed with her. Tell Nestle, I said, keep his head up. You need to put him on his foot. Like, I'll push him on his foot. You keep boy. saying that every week. Oh, my God. Y'all man. I'll push him on his foot. Okay, go ahead. Then that way. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. <laughs> Yeah.
Hi, Deborah Mosley. Thank you for becoming a new member. Welcome to Club V. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Hey, I'm real nigga from the team, my dog. Okay. Hey, I'm free. I'm waiting on you. Hey, man. Hey, listen, my nigga. You talk to a real actor, this thing, real nigga. Okay. You told me you told me that last time. I got you locked in, though. Uh, you told me that last time. I got you locked in. Uh, hey, 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 when he so the one dude says Sonya dates real niggas, and then he says, "Yeah, you you know you told me that last time." So that tells me y'all talked before. Like this is also weird. So this is her in fact ex. This is all weird, totally weird. They talking to each other. Why? What? What? For what reason? Do these two niggas need to talk to each other? Huh? These, in, in the words of Michael Blackson, <laughs> these niggas, okay? These two niggas have the audacity <laughs> to want to hold a conversation with one another. And this goofy girl, okay? would even coordinate such an effort. This is stupid as hell. I've never seen this. Ugh. Weird. Okay, here we go. You got it good. You got it good. Hey, man, I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. We talking about... Me and him had a conversation last night. He was talking that shit. I said, man, my kid was tight, and he had a wife taking care of your ass, and he was good. Him and the wife and the brothers were taking care of him. He ain't okay. want for nothing. So he did. He just wow. Hey, that's up. Hey, that's yeah. listen, listen, real talk. Hey, this is you. And I don't understand. No, hey, sorry. But then I say, I say, I don't understand how he was a such a good nigga. And everybody in person. I don't understand that shit, bro. Nothing in, in the world can see how all your people are just turned back on you, man. That's what's fucked up shit. Like, 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 yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 you know, it went to the, go ahead, go ahead, what do you say, it was, I said, go ahead, I had to put it back on my, hold on, I had to put it, now, see, this to me, proves to me right here, just how slow both Sonya and Nesto are, because that brother from Detroit, he just undercut this nigga and Sonya without even, without either of them realizing that that's what he just did. He said, I don't understand how this dude could be such a good dude, but everybody just leaves him high and dry. When he's down, that's some effed up shit is what he just said, right? So if that's what he just said, to me, it sounds like he's saying um, either A, nigga, you ain't shit. And that's why ain't nobody here for your ass. Or he's saying, um... Actually, I don't even think he's guessing that. I think he's saying some real shit that he knows that this dude is not a good dude. And he's also insulting Sonya. Like, how foolish could you be? That if nobody is standing ten toes down for this dude, why are you? Why are you? It's very weird. I can't say the word weird enough tonight. So. Get used to it. I'm going to get them all in, okay? Because these people will not allow me to put the word down, not on this evening. 
the thing. Okay. Go ahead, Sean. No, no, what I was telling Sonya is that I didn't understand how you was such a solid dude and how you, you was doing what you was doing, you know what I mean? And, and, and making moves for it, but, you know, for motherfuckers. Exactly. And now all of a sudden that everybody ain't perfect back on you, man. That's just kind of, I, I can't understand what, what the logic of that shit is at, you know what I mean? Not well, everybody does you know, go through this. That's well, what I told them. This thing, one thing I do for no for sure, you know, I, I do believe in God. Yeah, definitely gonna bring me some places that I never thought I could see or imagine. But I'm gonna tell you right now, bro, when this day is over right here, when the time comes, motherfucker gonna say, damn, I should have sit there and waited. Cause I have patience. So guess what? He gonna shine for me. I'm coming again. Hey, Shell. It's all harder and stronger. Hey, harder and stronger, man. The boss back on me even better, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you but, gonna, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a man of my words, man. You know what I mean? It might not be. I ain't saying I'm going to say the thing for you, but just real niggas do real things, man. And I talked to the boss, you know, that she let me hang. But I was good, man. I did three years. Which was a walk in the park, you know what I mean? The, the, the shit that I was doing out there. So, you know, it is what it is, but I got my respect for you, man. I want you to keep your head up, just be prayed up. And, and, and listen, it's one of the things that I tell I appreciate it. I definitely see it too, because I'm, I'm, I'm definitely yeah. presented, I'm presented to the West. So, old Chinese lady told me yeah. to be successful in the business, make sure your business turn to the, to the West. It's turned to the west, bro. That's what the sun see me here in the morning. So we're going to be good. You see? There you go. There you go. There you go. I highlight you. Okay. Sam, I'm going to call you back when I get out of here. You're so good. I know your ass is going to lie. We're going to call you all this. Bye. I'll call you back when I get out the Wait a minute. Nesto okay with that? Why why are you calling him back? All of this is weird, but never mind. see, there I go. I can't help but the weirds are gonna fly off over and over and over. Hello. Yeah. Uh no, uh, Becky. Yeah. Look at so that. Right. Right. I'm just a man. <laughs> hey man. Yeah, What's it really? But anyway, I sent that letter off to goddamn uh, ch turpentine. Let that shit move on, man. I just got to, like I said, got to let shit move on. Yeah, yeah because that, uh, he's going to railroad your ass into some shit you don't want to be, you know. But uh, the one girl who was giving all kind of legal advice was telling me um, to file suit against him. She, she uh, um, I got to read this call. And then you sue him and get um you know, most of your money back from, you know, the work he didn't do and the performance that he did bad type stuff. Oh. So, yeah, don't don't just let him keep that. You know what I'm saying? Let him be fun that back to her. Because I know his honor ass is not going to give it to you. And that's fine. Y'all talked about all that? Man, they talked about it. It was three hours, man. I got on at seven. I just got out of five, ten minutes before you called. Okay. Yeah. Did you set up to go yet? Uh, oh, somebody asked me about that too, and I was like, I gotta do that tonight. Somebody asked me that too. They was like, what about his? Do um, you ever set up anything for funny for him? And I was like, I'm gonna do that tonight. And that's good that I'm doing it after that, because a lot of people was like, you know, I really like that. We say, we think different of you now. See, I was going off with that girls was saying, calling me all kind of hoes and strippers and saying I was all into the hoop and. Hold up. Was he talking about the um the direction he's supposed to be facing to pray? He did he did say the West, didn't he? Lord have mercy. Is that what he was talking about? Yeah, I didn't know what he was talking about. Look to the West, look to the West. But when you pray, you're supposed to pray <laughs> facing the east, correct? So anywho. Okay, whatever. This boy, he gets it all jacked up, don't he? He does, and he does. Like, I said, one thing I always play is with people's freedom. And, you know, anytime somebody would make a comment like that, I'm like, don't play, don't play with that. 
that's what you're not going to do. Don't make no type of comments talking about all oh, like, you know, you and him both going to, don't, don't say that shit. Don't fuck with people freedom. You know, and it'd be the one to be always trying to, yeah, and be the one to be trying to tell, you know, believe in God. But you say you're telling people they need to go to jail for nothing. Like, I'm, 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 I'm just, you know, and they just kept wanting to say, they kept, pressing, they kept trying to keep going back to the, if I fuck them, if I fuck them. Well, you, I said, okay, so we don't need to, why y'all keep asking me about who I'm fucking? Like, y'all don't even know me. So why would I answer y'all anyway? You sound dumb to even think that I would answer you. How about just go off whatever you feel like you heard on a phone call? If y'all feel like we did this, that, and the other because this is what was said, then go off of that. That's all I'm going to say. Go off the phone call. But I'm not saying shit. It ain't it ain't my place to answer that to nobody because I don't know you that talk about my body with you. You sound dumb when you keep asking me. And then another person. Did you, girl, why do you even care? I would not even care about who's fucking. Unless I'm a, you know what I'm saying? Unless I'm part of the, the um, situation. You sound dumb. Um, what did you sound? Are you at um, the car? I'm on my way. I left the house. I'm on my way to go. I should have just left the baby and just told him to drop the baby off in the morning. What I should have did. But I, I know, but I didn't, um, but I didn't, um, I didn't ask Katie to watch her. And she said her, her throat hurts, so I gotta come in here and buy her something for her throat. <laughs> Katie got a sore throat. Well, Katie got a, Katie got a sore throat. I think she got yeah. a, I think she got a What? Throat. Where did she get, what? Where did this new uh, singing shit come from all of a sudden? Like, she's doing that. Have you noticed? That's not the first time I've heard to do that in the last couple of calls. Uh, baby got a sore throat. Baby got a sore throat. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Black, <laughs> Black Snake Moan says she's on something. Allegedly. That's what I didn't say it. Okay, that is not. I didn't say that. Okay, this is all allegedly. I didn't say it, but Black Snake Moan said it. Now, <laughs> I don't mean to be a snitch, but that is who said it. Damn it. Okay, not me, Sonya. Black Snake Moan has said it. Okay, this is. Wheelchair is, 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 is that shit funny to me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just, right. I don't want to let that shit ride, but that's okay. You ain't got to comment on it. You don't have to he comment. Said, Hello, yes. Where's the medicine at? I'm just saying, no folk don't want to, I, I don't understand, but it's okay. Um, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you roll back on something else from my first week? Come out? Or you come out? What are you talking about? Who are you talking about? Oh, just go so slow. Damn, so slow is nine dollars. What the fuck? It costs money to be sick. <laughs> I never take medicine. That's why I never had the body. To? You're talking to me. I'm talking to you, sir. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. That no, that was probably loud. He is like, what the fuck? Like she keeps just talking. Like she's talking and talking and talking so much. He was confused as to whether or not she was talking to you. Who are you talking to? <laughs> she seems odd, yo. She's a little weird. <laughs> I can't stop saying that word tonight. Weird, 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 damn it. This is weird. Let, let's go back. Let's listen. Let's hear what um uh what Nesto is hearing, okay? Shall we? Let's go back. Let's listen. Right, but that's okay. You ain't got to comment on it. You don't have to comment. He's got a yes. Where's the medicine at? I'm just saying, no folk don't want to. I don't understand. Hey, um, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you roll back on something else? Talking about who you talking about? 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 Who you talking I never take medicine. That's why I never had the body. I'm talking to you, sir. Oh. Three foot. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, that was something else. No, I didn't get the pictures that y'all took when y'all <laughs> went out that night. I didn't get that. 
He said, oh, that must have been something else. See, here's the other thing I don't like about him. This is what I don't respect about this nigga. He will say something and the person will respond and then he'll say, oh, no, I said, and they'll say, wait, what did you say? And then he'll say, no, um, I had sa- I said, uh, what time you going to go to dinner tomorrow? Like, it's like, no, you didn't even just say that. <laughs> what? He did that on that call with Shirley. I know that that sounded crazy, but I, that, I can't even give you a good example because it's so goofy and so awkward when it happens. You just have to hear it happen. But he, it happened with he, he and Shirley when Shirley and Deb were on the phone with him and he's talking to Shirley and Shirley sound like she's not really paying attention to him because she's talking to Deb or whatever. And then, uh, they say, what honey? Cause he says something and they say, what honey? He said, Oh no. I said, what time y'all going to blah, 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 something like, or what y'all got planned for the week. That is not what you said, sir. You didn't even say that. You said nothing of the sort. Well, just now the same thing happened. Listen, he, he, she said, she says, whatever. He says, who are you talking to? And she says, I'm talking to you. And he said, oh, okay. That must've been something else. Anywho. And then he goes on to say something. What do you mean? It must've been something else. It's almost like he feels the need to play it off, play off that maybe he wasn't paying attention or that he didn't, he didn't catch on to something. Listen, listen to what he, yeah, he'll say something completely different than what he originally said. Yeah, it's very weird. Here, let's, let's go back. I want y'all to just bear with me. You don't have to come. He said hilarious. Where's the medicine that he's down to? I'm saying, no, folks don't want it. I don't understand, but it's okay. Um, Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you roll back on something else? I'm gonna leave first. Who you talking about? Okay, listen, y'all. Who you talking about? about? Who you talking about? Oh, just go so slow. Damn, so slow is nine dollars. What the fuck? It costs money to be sick. <laughs> I never take medicine. That's why I never had the body. To? You're talking to me. I'm talking to you, sir. Oh. Three oh, okay, okay. Damn, that was something else. No, I didn't get the picture this y'all. What? He said, oh, oh, damn. That was something else. What was something else? What? What? I'm, I'm, conf- I'm confused. <laughs> this fool. They're so weird. That is the, the word of the day. Weird. Okay, here we go. When y'all went out that night, mm-hmm. I didn't get that. The picture that we took when we went out. <laughs> yeah, you said, yeah, you, when you went out, Wait a minute, Bella. Now look here, Bella, Bella. Now look, you, you look. Now, this shit is funny, but it's not. But because let's li- listen here now. Bella said he's slow. He forgets his own thoughts. Well, Bella, I forget my own damn thoughts too. Now, now look. You are not going to put me in in the Nesto bag. Oh, no, you aren't. You are not going to put me in Nesto side by side as peas in a pod. No, you will not. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, you won't. Oh, no, you won't. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Girl, I know you is lying. You are not going to um <laughs> obsess with the mess. I always forget my thoughts. <laughs> She'll forget mine. So you are not going to give me and and obsessed with the mess the same uh, um, diagnoses as we give this Negro. No, 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 you won't. Oh, no, you will not. Okay. Um, Because I'm often forgetting my own thoughts. (laughs) Jeez. Lord have mercy. From the jail visit, Mm-mm. I sent you the pictures from. No, that was it. Something else, I can't remember what it is. Yeah, that was it. That's it. Okay. Um, so she gonna let. I don't know. So, so you gonna be talking about the the uh, shooting, huh? Okay. 
Yeah, it's just all about everything on the show. It's actually a good video, actually. You know what I'm saying? It's actually good. But you know, but, um, I know somebody might feel some type of way about it. But it's only a brief, a brief moment of um, the beer and so I'm gonna get the um where um I spoke on my discussion. I wish I just omitted the whole thing. I should have just went straight to um you know, I should have skipped over her part and went straight to Will's part and just completely omitted that, you know. I wasn't thinking I, that day. The damn cat. Thought about it today. Yeah. Okay. I think Sonya did the damn ailment, the whole mush mouth ailment. Maybe she she understands him better when she talks mush mouth because the more and more she talks on the phone with this dude, the less I can understand her ass. Okay. Now wait a minute. We gotta go back because I don't know what the hell she was saying. I don't know a damn thing she's talking about. Oh, okay, let's try this one more time. Okay. Yeah, it's just all about everything on the show. It's actually a good video, I see. You know what I'm saying? It's actually good, you know what I'm saying? But um, she was saying, you know, somebody might feel some type of way about it. But it's only a, bro a brief moment of um, severe score. So I'm going to get to um, where. Oh, um, shit. Even the captions I don't. On my I wish I just omitted the whole thing. I should have just went straight to, um, you know, I should have skipped over her part and went straight to Will's part and just completely omitted that. You know, I wasn't thinking that day. Thought about it today. Who is Will? Okay. Oh, okay. <sighs> yeah, uh, yeah. Did he yeah, understand yeah. her? Because if he understands yeah, her, you know, it's what really saying? going on exactly out here. Because I damn sure couldn't understand her, and neither could my captions. BW, I'm not trying to be funny, but the captions did not understand. Okay, the captions, and she was the one talking. It wasn't even him. It wasn't Dion. It was her. Girl, what are you doing? You are not representing Ohio well out in these streets. I am, I'm just, oh, oh, I cannot. Okay, let's listen. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, somebody might feel some type of way about it. But it's only a, bro a brief moment of, um, Severe score so I'm gonna get to um where um I spoke on my discussion. I wish I just omitted the whole thing. I should have just went straight to um you know, I should have skipped over her part and went straight to Will's part and just completely omitted that, you know. I wasn't thinking Oh, that hold day. on, hold on. So Will is the guy that shot her? Well, wait a minute. Oh, so she's talking about the video of where she talked about the shooting. That's what she, so did y'all see that video? Is this an upload that she did herself on the shooting or did somebody interview her? Cause I, I've never seen her talk about the shooting outside of Tasha K and the little bit. Did she, I don't know if she went into it in detail in my interview with her or just when she and I talked a little bit. I can't remember. I think it must've been the interview. But that's the only time I've heard her talk about or, you know, that I heard her talked about it. Not to say she didn't talk about it other places. Hold on. Mm -mm -mm. That interview was a whole run on sentence. Okay. <laughs> Which one, y'all? Which interview? Who was it? She's talking about her video. So in her own video, she did the video talking about the shooting itself. Mm. Okay, yeah, no, I never saw that. Now, I did think it was odd when I heard, oh my God, y'all, I didn't know that her son, Tomas, um, a bougie showed the picture of him. I guess she, she, I guess it had been out there before, so it's not like she, you know, did anything weird, but she, she brought it up because I guess there were people in the chat, and I'm glad because I was one of those people I had never seen him. But uh, pulled him up, and he does look a lot like her. Um, but I didn't know that he weighs only 90. Like, she's no, wait, she's 90 pounds or 80 something, and he's 100 pounds. Like, he's what is that a disorder? Is that like something like, 
Like, that's very small. Like, I wonder how tall he is. He must not be that much taller than her either. Oh, my gosh. He is very, very small. Now, the the, the daughter, I saw, um, I saw the daughter. I feel like, and I can't remember where it was. This was months ago, though. I remember seeing a picture of the daughter, but I feel like it was almost like an advertisement for being a bartender or it has something to do with her club scene or something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what I envision or I don't know. I could have sworn I saw something that was advertising like a flyer or something like what she does. Wait, who's five, four? Oh, he's six, three. Y'all lying. He ain't no 6'3", 110 pounds. I know you was lying. 313 best side. Go get out of here. <laughs> Go get get away from me. Okay. Go somewhere. He is not no damn 6'3", 110 pounds, Jesus. Child. Can you imagine? Poor thing. He probably wouldn't even be able to stand up straight. Oh, no, your son. Whose son? No, nah, huh? Folks be born skinny. Yeah, they be. Bo Who y'all talking about? Lord, um, child, who is? Ain't nobody no six three and no one ten. Okay, and not hooked up to uh, a whole feeding tube and some IV. I don't know nobody. <laughs> and if they are, we need to get them to the nearest hospital. Okay. We need them to go straight to, well, you know what? It's funny because that's what I was leading. I didn't want to say dwarfism because dwarfism is more about being shorter, isn't it? These, it sounds like they are tiny people, huh? Wow. Um, she's talking about her own son. Oh, her own son. Wait, nah, uh Who is one to who's uh, whose son in here? Who has said that? I saw when you put it. Uh, three one three, the best side. Are you being serious? Do you really mean one ten and and six three? He must be young, young. Then is he young? If that's your son's height and size, is he super young? Really? Hold on, I said no. Nah, huh? Folks be born skinny. Yeah, they didn't know my son. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I thought I was, you know, teasing uh Sonya. Um, I thought everybody was. I thought you were teasing her too. But um, really, is he young? He's 17. He'll probably. I was just. 110 hell i can't remember when i last weighed 110 i'm just trying to imagine that and i'm five nine and a half i can't even imagine hell i don't think in high school in high school i think i was 130 wow okay but sonia's now sonia's just from the picture though that i saw that bougie um posted it did appear like he was uh probably small you know how you can just tell the frame of somebody like he looked like he was probably short and small, like her. Maybe a little bit taller than her, but not much. I weigh one ten at ten. Shine, trying to be funny. I've been this height. I've been five nine and a half since I was twelve years old. Okay, I grew fast all my life, and then once I turned twelve, that was it. That's all. And I'm five nine and a half. Okay. Um, I don't recall. I don't, I couldn't even tell you when I weighed 110. Okay. And at 130, I was, I think it was like 127, let's say in high school, baby, I still in my mind, like at the time I always thought, Ooh, I need to be thinner. Cause you know, folks, my height, um, that were models, they were smaller, but to look at my pictures, I look super thin and I was thin. But the fact, you know, I don't know, maybe that's how we see ourselves and you always think you need to lose weight or whatever. So long story short, I just, I'm saying all this to say, I've been the same height since I was 12, but I damn sure wasn't 110. Okay. I couldn't even tell you. 
But anyway, okay, we're getting all off track. Let's listen to the last minute and a half of this bullshit. No, it's not even a minute and a half. It's a minute and a couple seconds. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. We're gonna do your thing. What you concentrate? What you doing? It's just late. Out yeah. You gonna get that party tonight? Um. That. That. The rest of that. That I. That I see. Yeah. That, okay. That. Uh, yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's what that is. That's yeah, crazy. Okay. It's, it's a new year coming up. It's a new year coming up, and uh. Yeah, it's a lot going on out there. I take it right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, hang on. Call me. Call me. Oh, shit, I gotta call. I don't know. I call you tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Call me tomorrow. Right, okay. Right. Thank, Love you. Right. Thank you. Yeah, he was right. He didn't want to talk to her as long as he did, y'all. I don't care what nobody says. He did not want to um, talk to her for as long as he did. He was straight trying to get off the damn phone with her earlier, but he didn't want to sound like that for whatever reason. That's what I'm saying. That's so is just, he does not keep it real. Okay. He is full of shit. Okay. So now let me close this one. Okay. And then we're going to go on back on over here to the, um, to the interview. Mm-hmm. The old Sonya interview. Yes, yes, yes. Where we ended off at about the 38 minute mark. Okay. So this is um where we will have a little little um throwback here on this Saturday night. Throwback all the way back. Let's go back in the day, all the way back to January 31st, 2024, okay? When Sonia meets Villanor, okay? Now, we listened the other night. We listened to the first 38 minutes of the interview. Again, I will not keep you very long tonight. We will listen to no more than 30 minutes tonight, okay? We'll give a little assessment. We'll we'll shoot the breeze if we choose, you know, or we'll sum up w- what our findings are thus far, okay? And then we will call it a close. And then maybe tomorrow where, you know, tomorrow there's always new tea, okay? It's the start of a new week. And um, nine times out of 10, new bullshit will arise as well. Um, with the good comes the bad. So, you know, we'll be here for it either way. And when we come back out here, if we have new tea to discuss, we'll do that. And then maybe we'll, you know, dive in for another 30 minutes or so. Okay. However, we feel like handling our business is how we will handle our business over here. Okay. This is Club B. Okay, we do it over here. How? V style. That's how. (laughs) It says it in the jingle. Okay. So just as long as you know, let me share my screen. I want everyone to be aware of the agenda. This is how we get down. This is what's going down on tonight. All right. Now, let me just go ahead and... um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave this up right here so we can kind of glance at the, um, um, we can glance at the chat. You know what I'm saying? Because the chat, you all, you all had your own show. You see, I, I, I tried my best not to pay too much attention to the damn show in the chat because I had to keep our guests calm and keep her distracted from looking in this damn raggedy ass, ratchet ass chat, okay? And you'll see, look at this chat. This chat is going the fook in. And who is leading all of the efforts? None other than my moderator by the name of her daughter, okay? Okay? She was leading the ratchet brigade on that evening, okay? I see it. 
I saw it, but I had a job to do. I understood the assignment. You people in the chat, obviously not, okay? So I had to hold it down. I had to have my own back, okay? Because you all were running a fucking muck in the chat. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you understand what I'm saying here? So I had to be focused. I had to keep her attention on me and not this damn chat. Okay. Anywho, let's, let's go back. So here we are. Uh, we ended that. Let me, let me see. I'm go back right at the 38. Yeah. Cause see my head is down for something, some foolishness. She, she must've said, I think it had to do with the nigga who was 23 years younger than her. Okay. Uh, I think that's what made me um, want to throw up a little bit in my mouth. Okay. But listen closely. I'm sure we'll find out momentarily. Okay. Here we go. You know. Yeah. Occupied. Knew I wasn't getting back with him because we're 23 years apart. So I knew I wasn't getting back with him. What? But that's why I said that I wasn't dating people my age. So he's 20. He's, uh, he's, he was born a day after I got shot. So, how weird is that, right? <laughs> Girl, it should have been a sign. Okay, but anywho. He's but, a sweetheart. Look, he's a sweetheart. I'm sure he is. He's a baby. What the hell? He's You're a baby. child. What you talking about? So, you said your daughter is how old? I've dated a lot of guys. Like, my other ex just turned. His birthday's today, actually. I got to say, happy birthday. And he just turned 40 today. What? We're, so we're, six, we're 15 years apart. Y'all 15 years apart. But mm -hmm. that other one. He's he's younger than your daughter. He's in between my kids. Yeah, he's uh my my son will be twenty four and my daughter's thirty six. Okay. So they're in between. He's in between. Wait yeah. a minute, Trillery. <laughs> she said, "Wow, I can't do it." But wow, in my Nesta voice. <laughs> That's why I said when I met him, I was just like, "He old," you know. <laughs> I guess he is old then. Hell yeah, yeah, he old, I guess. I was like, because I just context. always, I, since I was in my 30s, I've always dated younger than me. So, Jesus. You know. Okay. So younger, you younger, you younger, younger. Of, you knew you were kind of attracted to him after that, um, after that meeting. Did you guys just start talking on the phone like immediately after that? Yeah. So we talked on the phone right nonstop after, since, the, since I met him. Okay, did you yeah. guys, in, and then so you said there was two months in between the time that you met him and you went into the hospital, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And you saw him how many times between uh, meeting him and going into the hospital? I saw him twice before I went to the hospital. Okay, and then once you and, were in the hospital, and, did he come to see you? No, it was COVID, couldn't come see, nobody can come visit. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, Oh my God! You were yeah. here a month. A whole month with no visitors. Oh my lord! It was the worst. I know. I'm sure. What am I doing? Uh, so I that means it. your phone conversations have even more power, or more so power. I couldn't from. really talk on the phone because I had a nose tube in me, and um, I was I was really messed up in the hospital. So he would just text me every day. Text me every day, you know, how are you doing? What are the doctors saying? Why are you still there? You know, how did surgery go? So Wait a minute. Let me just say, this is when it's hitting me. I think I'm, I'm kind of putting it together now. Like, wait a minute. He was, you, when she kept telling me before that, you know, he was there for me. He was there for me. He supported me when nobody else did. He was there for me every day. He checked on me when I was in the hospital and it was COVID and he didn't have to, but he checked on me. He was there for me. It's just now what, you know, in this moment that we're in the interview that is dawning on me. Wait a minute. If you couldn't see him face to face, he couldn't come to the hospital. How was he there for you? You mean just on the phone? 
And she was like, yeah, you know, we talk every day or whatever. And I said, or no, no. She said, well, we didn't even talk on the phone that much because I had a, a feeding to, or she's like, she had something down her throat. I was like, Wait, what? So you mean to tell me you are, are justifying this level of loyalty and support for this man based upon some text messages you got every day while you was in the hospital from a nigga you didn't know from Adam? That's but trust me, my 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 brain is like, wait a minute. Okay. Because I just, you know, I had a lot, a lot of stuff done. So okay. okay. Yeah. So it was mainly texting me than anything. Because I really wasn't talking on the phone too much. I couldn't really talk. Okay. So you, you weren't really talking to him then. It was all about the texting correspondence. It was, more, it was more texting when I was in the hospital, yeah. Once you got out of the hospital, how soon did you see him after that? Or I got you... out around February 1st, um, and then I saw him in April. Okay. All right. So you saw him in April. And then how long between the time that you saw him in April was he arrested? The very next year. I saw him once in 21, which was April. And he sat with me for like four hours and we watched. Can't think of the name of that damn show. We watched some show that he loves to watch. And I never seen it before. Um, Cause I was still like, it took me almost, it took me like a year to get somewhat normal from, you know, back into how I was. The doctor said three months, but it took a year. So that was um, two months after I got out the hospital. I was still like 80 pounds and like, like, you know, cropped over or whatever. Um, and then, you know, my stomach was, I had two major surgeries. So my stomach was still left open. Um, cause I had a lot of outpatient therapy. Um, and then I, I didn't see him until the next year, April, it was a whole year. I went without seeing him. I saw him that next April. And then I saw him once in May and then he got arrested in July because I was the end of 21. I started going to L.A. a lot for my niece's skit thing. I was doing skits with her. Here's the thing. She she has a um, a habit of saying so much more than what you ask of her. Right. The shit that's irrelevant to the story. Shit that doesn't make any damn like who cares, lady? We don't give a shit. Answer the questions at hand here, okay? This is what we care about. The shit I'm asking, okay? Answer what I ask. Don't give me any more. I'll ask for more if I need more, okay? Be willing to give it when I ask it. Don't volunteer it because it may be unnecessary. Do you understand? Do you understand how this goes? Does that make sense? Okay, but. I feel like sometimes she gives extra to deflect from um, the fact that either A, her answer isn't going to be good enough and she knows it, or B, she doesn't have an answer. Like it's it's a tactic. It's a strategy, if you will. Um, and then she's hoping you're going to fucking forget what the hell it is you asked her because she takes you around and around and fucking around, you see. Um, but I'm still playing super dicey nice here at the beginning here. I'm trying. I'm trying. But I don't like it when people play in my face. And I feel like she was trying to play in my face a little bit. But the, here's the other thing. What she really sounds like is a crazy person, if you ask me. Because you're telling me you saw him once in uh, 21. You saw him once. He came over to your house. Y'all watched some damn show. Who gives a fuck? I didn't ask what you watched. I didn't even ask what y'all did. But you are sitting here telling us about some damn show he likes to watch. And he he watches it all the time. Who gives a shit? Okay. The bottom line is he came over there. Y'all hung out for four hours. And then you didn't see his ass ever again. Until you tracked him down. Oh, no, no. She's saying she saw him uh, a year later. Okay. I take that back. I take that back. 
No, no, no. She's saying in April is when he came over and watched that show. Was that right? Let's go back. Child, she got me fucking confused. All I do know is this. You ain't really spending no time with him because you saw him at the very least. And we'll go back and get the clarity here. But at the very least, what I'm hearing you say is you saw him in May and he got arrested in July and you didn't know where he was, but you found him in jail. Now, I don't understand where's all this attachment you have to this person. Where did it, where does it even stem from? Because let's be completely uh, uh, clear with one another here. He saw you once in 2021. One time. This nigga is jet setting all over the place. Let him tell it. He in Dubai. He over here. Over, you know, he on the West Coast. He on the East Coast. He got holes in different area codes and shit. And then um when it comes time to see you, though, he he can't he can't see you. You even made mention in a previous, you know, phone call with him, and we've made reference to this call many times, how when you told him as you were reading the damn search warrant, like, oh, this is why I couldn't catch up with you because you had all this going on with these hoes, okay? So um, it's very weird that you, you're you not seeing this person at all. He's not making time for you, even though he's he's making all the money. He's the one that's getting at the at the bag all the time, right? He's got the the affluent and and um and and uh famous wife and you know, he he he's got it all. He's rubbing, you know, elbows with all the celebrities and things and you know, he got all these vehicles and things. He can coach people on business and things. He does all these things but he can't come to see you. All right. And I don't know who saw who, how y'all bumped into each other at that one time in 21 and those two times in 22. But the bottom line is I don't understand the attachment. How can you be so very attached to this dude when you haven't even spent any real time with this dude? This is why people wonder if you knew him longer or better or seen him more often. And, and, and that's why we question it because otherwise it doesn't make great sense. But okay, let's listen. Let's go back and listen to her. And then, um, well, wait February, a minute. I started looking at, looking at locations for my sports bar. So I was well, looking at Miami. I was looking at, I went to like, see, that's what I'm saying. What, what the fuck does that have to do with the price of tea in China? Nobody gives a shit about who cares, girl. You all over the place. Oh, let me come back because she loves to watch and I never seen it before. Um, because I was still like, it took me like, almost, it took me like a year to get somewhat normal from you know back into how I was. The doctor said three months, but it took a year. So that was um, two months after I got out the hospital, I was still like 80 pounds and like, like, you know, cropped over or whatever. Um, and then, you know, my stomach was, I had two major surgeries. So my stomach was still left open. Oh, jeez. Um, Cause I had a lot of outpatient therapy. Can y'all imagine that too? And see, this is why I was saying, um, that may be one of the reasons why she might be attached to him is that because here's the thing when they got together, if, if let's say we, we believe that they seen each other only five times that they met each other th th on this one day and within 48 hours, whether she, we believe it was on the first day or the second day, they have sex, right? Um, He's got a criminal past. Oh, no big deal. I got a criminal past. You know what I'm saying? Maybe she feels like that's not something she likes to advertise to people, but it's sometimes it's safer in your mind. If I can, you know, well, he won't judge me. I can't judge him. He won't judge me. So there, there's one, um, um, 
um, thing ticked off the, the list, right? And then she slept with him within 48 hours of meeting him, uh, which means that if she had scars still uh, from her surgeries, which I'm imagining she does, if she's saying that her stomach was open for a long period of time, Jesus, I can only imagine, like I've heard people explain that in, in those terms before, like, I can't imagine seeing it. Excuse me. I remember, um, I had a cousin who had some sort of, I can't remember what was going on with her. It was some kind of infection or something that was going on with her stomach and they had to cut open her stomach. And I remember they, Ooh, child, I can't barely even talk about it, but I just remember them having to come and, 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 you know, they, they would, oh my God, I just know there was an open cavity. There would be gauze. They would have to clean it, you know, make sure the wound was clean daily. Um, this was why she was in the hospital. And I remember she came home and, and that still was kind of like that. I mean, I don't even want to talk about it. Oh my God, it's making me feel crazy right now. Just talking about it. But let's say she had to deal with that kind of thing for a long time before she could even start to heal. Like she says, and then um, she's starting to heal. I'm sure there's got to be a scar. I'm sure there's, you know, I'm just sure she's probably got a scar. I'm just, I'm guessing. Okay. And here she is. She probably went through that. And then now she's going back through something because of that, um, the, the, um, the shootings and whatnot. So this is years later they're probably having to go back into a place that was already scarred. So I'm sure that makes it hard. I just don't know. I know that that's probably something hard for a woman to expose herself, makes her vulnerable in that way to a man. So here she is. She's, they've got these shared backgrounds, right? Now uh, he can't judge me, you know, or he didn't judge my body. That I, This was what I'm just thinking from a woman's perspective. Maybe she feels like, Oh my God, he didn't judge me. He still made me feel beautiful or he still, cause he effed you, right? You know, for some women, they think sex is love and sex is a form of admiration and um, dedication and, at, you know, uh, uh, it, it, it's not, it really isn't. It's sometimes it's, he's just horny, okay? It doesn't mean anything more than that. And he will do whatever he needs to do to get what he wants from you. Okay. If that means cry, he going to cry. If it means beg, he's going to beg. If it's going to be pretending uh, 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 that he, he likes you when he doesn't, if it means telling you he loves you and he doesn't, that nigga will say and do whatever to get to it. Okay. If he is horny enough, he will do anything. So you can't believe him, but see, sometimes a woman who hasn't had a lot of experiences or, or hasn't had experiences in a long period of time for whatever reason that is, they might fall into this kind of situation. I'm trying to give her, I'm trying to give her the benefit of the doubt here, people. Okay. And I could see how that might be a way that your mind might trick you into thinking he really cares about me. He never once judged me because of that. He never said anything about my body. He knows that I'm small. He knows every insecurity she has of herself, the way she talks, she will share it. That it, I, I just believe she, she'll give clues as to what she's really insecure about, right? If she doesn't tell you what it is, she's going to give you clues. You're going to be able to pick up on it. And a predator can pick up on those areas of vulnerability. And when they see how vulnerable you really are, that's when they go into attack, baby. That's when they go for it. Mm -hmm. They go clean in. Okay. So what you say? A Chick-fil-A gal. So I think that that is exactly what this dude has done with her. And that is why she probably feels like, okay, he cares about me. I can do this. I'm going to stand by him because, you know, and we've talked about the fact that she doesn't do people. She, she doesn't really like to get out. Really. She doesn't probably know how to meet people easily. 
Um, she said herself she doesn't deal with anybody outside of her siblings and Yvette. So here's the one chance she got outside of herself. Uh, I, I, she doesn't have to see him, but once a week for 30 minutes at a time. <laughs> That's the one time she has to get dressed and she comes up there. She peels herself out of bed. She goes see her man. She goes back. She knows where he is. She knows he ain't cheating on her. He's, she, could, she knows exactly what this nigga is every night, all day and all night. And he has nothing else to do but call her. So it is what it is. It's a perfect love story for her in many ways. Let's get back to it, shall we? Um, and then I, I didn't see him until the next year, April. It was a whole year I went without seeing him. I saw him that next April, and then I saw him once in May. And then he got arrested in July because I was... The end of 21, I started going to L.A. a lot for my niece's skit thing. I was doing skits with her. And then. um, Hold on. <laughs> Succeeding to. I'm not playing with you today. Sonya is nothing but a drive through single 79 cent White Castle burger drive through date. <laughs> Just one burger. No fries. No drink. Less than a dollar day. <laughs> Shut up. Well, wait February, a minute. I started looking at looking at locations for my sports bar. So I was well, looking wait. in Miami. I was looking. In, I went to. Hold on. Hold on one second. Let's go back though. You mentioned that he came to see you in April, sat with you <laughs> for four hours that day. Let me just tell you, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all that. Um, let's come back here. <laughs> this is where I'm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck that. But, but, girl, hush. Come back over here. I asked you, let, let's get this straight, okay? <laughs> I need the clarity. Let's listen. And you didn't see him again till the next year? Hold on, hold on. Okay, wait a minute. Love to watch, and I've never okay. seen it before. Um, Because I was <laughs> still, like, it took me almost, it took me like a year to get somewhat normal mm -hmm. from, you know, back into how I was. The doctor said three months, but it took a year. So that was... Um, two months after I got out the hospital, I was still like 80 pounds and mm -hmm. like, like, you know, cropped over or whatever. Um, and then, you know, my stomach was, Ooh. I had two major surgeries. So my stomach was still left open. Oh, Jesus. Oh, um, Jesus. Cause I had a lot of outpatient therapy. Um, and then I, I didn't see him until the next year, April, it was a whole year I went without seeing him. I saw him that next April, so, and then I saw him once in May. So I'm like, wait a minute, you April? And th okay, go ahead. With you, this is what I'm thinking about. She going down some other tangent, but and then he got arrested in July because I was the end of 21. I started going to LA a lot for my niece's skit thing. I was doing skits with her, and then um. Well, wait February, a minute. I started looking at looking at locations for my sports bar. So I was well, looking wait. in Miami. I was looking. In, I went to. What does that have to do with anything? Um. But anyway, okay. Hold on one second. Let's go back though. You mentioned that he came to see you in April, sat with you for four hours that day, and you didn't see him again till the next year. Why? Man, I was avoiding him. I wasn't trying to catch feelings. <laughs> I made sure I didn't want to go around him. I didn't have a problem talking to him on the phone. But once I found out he was married, we had a conversation. And I was like, I'm not, we can be cool. Not, I just don't want to catch feelings for you. When you know, because I'm not out? trying to get all caught up. Hmm? When did you find out he was married? Uh, two weeks after we met. Okay, so how did that come up? Two weeks after you met him, you find out he's married over the phone, obviously, or in... Or when you met up or how, how'd you find this out in person how'd it come up he brought it up what he said <laughs> oh in some words he said he was married what were the words i don't want to say what the words was because it didn't it, it I, I i didn't understand how he put it it didn't it wasn't normal to me how he said it so 
that means. What do you think? What do you think those words were? Like, I don't understand. What could he have said? How could he have said it so that that makes her not want to repeat what he said? Like, I'm very confused by that. I'm trying to understand. Do y'all has she ever mentioned how he brought that up before? And why was it two weeks after if they had sex within 48 hours of meeting? It's too many. It's too much. Try us. Uh-uh. <laughs> okay. Me yeah, trust me. It didn't sound. It didn't, but I still was like upset. Even though the way he told me, I was trying to understand how, why did like, huh? Like that don't make sense how he said it. Um, but he said it. You and know, then, um, Shelly C said, he said, you know, I'm married, right? <laughs> she said, baby, she said, however he said it, she didn't understand it. What did she say? The way he said it, she, she hadn't heard it put that way before. Three one three says she don't know what the hell he said. <laughs> I want to know too how it's possible that she could she would wait two weeks and be met. Well, anyway, well let's listen. What'd you say, man? I was pissed because you, you know, <laughs> huh? Because you were already trying to catch a little a little bit of feelings. Because you wasted my time on some things. So um, I was pissed, and then I. I went home, I texted him, blocked him. Do not call me no more. Lose my number. I'm good. And then um, a couple of days, a week passed. And for some reason, I just kept thinking about him. And then I was like, you know what? I ain't going to be mad, mad, but um, we just going to be cool. And that's what I told him. I was like, we're just going to be friends. And I, that's why I was like, I'm not going to go around you. I said, because I don't want nobody falling in love. I don't want nobody catching feelings. I don't want to make this messy, you know, of a situation. It'd be cool. And that's How'd what that it work out for you? Before he got arrested, it worked out fine. Oh my God. It worked out fine. Cause I never saw him and talking to him for two minutes on the phone and he's cool. Ain't no pressure, you know? But then well, when you understand this, why do you have to maintain any kind of relationship with a person who just told you two weeks in that he's married? Why would I, you I have, to because one, I have right now currently about three males, three males that I'm, I'm super tight with, okay. and two of them are married. So I do have married friends. Are you tight that with are male? Also? I'm cool with. Well, my one friend, me and his wife, we just met at the wedding. I spoke to her like um, right before they got married. And then I met her at the wedding because he just married her last summer. Um, okay, okay. Yeah, so, um, but we're still like, it's just as tight as we was before they got married. It was, we never did anything, you know, had any type of romantic, you know, he's been my friend since 2011. Mm -hmm. So um, we just always been cool. That was just always my boy. But here's, again, my question was, why was it necessary that you remain a friend to this guy you don't even know? You just met him two weeks ago. So why is it so important that you remain friends with him? And she says, well, because I got three male friends that I'm tight with and two are married. That's the answer. Because you have these relationships that make makes it necessary that you maintain this one with this nigga that you just met two weeks ago, who was not. Now this is based on her words, who was not forthcoming with you right off the gate, out the gate, saying that he was married. That's interesting. So if he didn't tell you that, and two weeks in you find out that he's married and you're mad that, you know, he didn't tell you this up front. Why must you maintain the friendship? It's not a friend. He's not your friend at this point. You don't even know him. And one thing he's already done is he's, he's lied. So what makes him trustworthy? I mean, it makes no sense, but okay.
I guess I'm trying to make sense out of nonsense. So, um, and then the other one I've known me and him been cool for 20 years. Mm -hmm. He's been married for 30 years and mm -hmm. me and his wife are cordial. Cordial. Okay. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Why is it just cordial? Um, cause again, I don't really see him. He lives in Detroit. I don't see him like that. Um, but I do talk to him a lot. Uh huh. So, you know, we had dinner together, me, him and the wife and all of that, that okay. stuff, you know, so we're cordial. I mean, we ain't, hey girl, da, 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 call me, okay. you know. So. Now, the reason why I said is because, okay, so you're saying you were never romantically linked to either of those male friends. Mm -mm, no. And then when I got married, my husband had female friends. I didn't like, oh, okay, so now, you know, you can't see girls. You can't, whoever you're cool with, you can't be cool with them. Like, I was not that person. I didn't care. You know, I'm going to trust you. I'm going to trust you. So the thing of it is, in my mind, the way it works, because I was raised by more so my dad. So I kind of think more like a man than more like a woman on a lot of things. I just feel like if a person gonna cheat, they gonna cheat. You can meet somebody, sleep with them the same day. It doesn't have to be somebody you're friends with that you end up in bed with, you know. So oh, that's true. That's true. I, yeah, I didn't have a problem. It was, it was when I got cheated on in life with relationships. It was always somebody they just met. It was nobody they was cool with because I've never put that stipulation on nobody I've ever dated. So they never cheated with friends. They always cheated with the new chick they met at the restaurant at the grocery store at the red light you know it was never somebody that was already in their life okay and the way i think about it if something was going to happen with somebody it was like it would have transpired you know not came about even though i met him she's still talking after he was married you know yeah not before he was married but, but at the same thing. time hmm? here's the thing though here's the difference with nesto you know that you're meeting him even though you went there for business, the business thing was done in the first five minutes of your conversation. So y'all spent three hours together that day and then two weeks pass. You know romance is, is, is what's leading this relationship at this point. And then you find out he's married. Why continue dealing with him at all? Because he was cool as a person. And I just felt like I could I could be his friend and I don't have to go. Over. You don't know him as a person. It's been two weeks. You don't he of course he's supposed he, he seemed cool. He shouldn't seem like anything other than cool because y'all don't know for each other. Y'all y'all have no reason to not be cool. There's no reason for fighting. There's no reason for him to have betrayed your trust at this point he should be everything but it, it nothing less than cool because what what do y'all have to be up in arms about that's not the question it, it, it. around him and i can control you know my emotions because i you he know want to be your friend though son huh he didn't want to be your friend he was okay. He said okay, and he never he never divvied outside of what I said. He never, you know, the stuff that I said. He never pressured me to to run into him. You know, he asked on a couple of occasions, and I was like, eh, eh. you know, I ain't going around you. And he would laugh, and I'd be like, Nah, dude, I ain't coming around you. <laughs> I'm good. You know, he, what you talking about? I'm like, No, nah, I'm good. I'm not coming around you. So I'm like, We good. We good. Just being phone buddies. So I was phone buddies. Okay, but you, I mean, you got to know that you're still, if you're phone buddies, because that's the thing about that, that talking, that communication, that phone stuff. I feel like that penetrates a woman's heart more than a man. Like I think, and more than like physical touch. Like I really feel like. It depends. We weren't having intimate. Girl, we we weren't having boyfriend girlfriend conversations where we would talk. That's the thing. It was how's your day? How's the restaurant? All right, bye. That was it. It wasn't like you know. I miss you. Again, we're talking about the first two weeks. Why would y'all be having boyfriend girlfriend talk and you don't even know this Negro? It's been two weeks, so of course that wasn't the nature of your your conversations. Even though at this point I didn't realize you had slept with him in 48 hours. This this hasn't come out just yet. But I'm already thinking to myself, like, what well, what is this 
tie you have that's just so unbreakable in the first two weeks. But even if you were, you did have sex with him in the first 48 hours, okay? If you did, your conversations are not going to be conversations of a boyfriend because you know why? You don't know him and it's only been two weeks. You, when can I see you? It wasn't all that boo type conversation. It but was Tanya, just I mean, that. I'm about to call you Tanya. Sonia, but here's the thing. Think about it like this. You may have said you just wanted to be friends, but trust me, he stayed around because he was going to change your mind. They always are thinking they can change your mind. That if they just lay and wait and play that role, as soon as an opportunity presents itself, they will slide right. They think they can slide right in. He was doing that to you. Now, that doesn't make him a bad guy because of that. No, a lot of these dudes say, do that. I can't I say that because... His text messages, when you look at me and him's text messages, it could look like it's two girls talking. It's 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 none of that, you know, boo this, that, and the other, and da da. It's it's none of that type. And then plus, I'm dating all the while. We would talk about my dates. And I don't even know why they didn't play that because um, you know, when I was in Florida, I was on dating sites and I was dating and going out on dates, and me and him would talk about them on the phone. Because he didn't give a damn and you wanted him to. See that there's a difference again, just because you're sitting here talking about dates, trust me, he knows he's a whole married man and he don't give a damn about your dates. He didn't give that much of a damn about you. You just found his ass in jail. He'd only seen you twice that year and once the year before and twice the year before that. He doesn't give a shit about you at this point. He doesn't. He's got other things keeping, you know, uh, keeping him distracted. Women with actual careers and actual money and actual, you know, connections and stuff. That is who he wants to hear is falling in love with him. You in that moment, not so much. I think when he met you, let's say you met him the way you say you did. Trust and believe you may have been, um, maybe you knew something about him. Maybe he was your mark in some ways. Well, you were his, just like he would, you know, recruit women or have women come and, and apply to work for him. And he'd tell him to strip. What did he tell you to do? He told you to strip. If anything, he was trying to test out the product before he puts it out there for sale. He didn't want to put you out on the lot if he didn't understand, you know, what the engine, what you was working with. Okay, so he's a used car salesman. If you haven't noticed it, he's a used car salesman. Okay, some are better than others. Some make a very lucrative career out of being a used car salesman. Nesto, on the other hand, he likes to sell lemons. You see what I'm saying? He can't stay in, in, in business very long because he's a fake. He's a phony. He's a fraud. He doesn't have the goods. He has the looks of having the goods, but he doesn't have the goods. So what he tries to do is he, he, he knows how to lean into his gifts, right? And one thing he knows how to do is to make broken women feel like they're special. Women who maybe have issues in the man department or issues with self-esteem or issues with whatever, he can smell it. And when he smells it, he's then looking to see how he can use you, right? He can't use you the way he could use a Shirley or an Ebony Steel or um, the, the realtor, the, the, um, the, uh, educator, um, and who is the other lady, these professional women, he can't use you like he uses them because see most of those women, if not all of those women, I believe are degree. They have long, uh, standing years of work and, 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 and job experience. You can't say these same things, Sonia. Okay. So he has to use you like he uses the other help 
uh, that worked in the salon or the barbershop rather, or on the RVs or in them streets. Okay. And he was trying to figure out where he was going to put you. Okay. Uh, he don't know if he going to put you on the RV or if he going to have you in the basement of the, of the, of the barbershop. Or if he's going to have you out on stroll. I don't know. I don't know all of his places. Okay. I just know that he's been trafficking these women around here and there and everywhere. And he was just trying to figure out where he wants to put you. Okay. That's all. That's it. That's all. So he had to try out the product. He wanted to see what was under that hood. Okay. Uh, and whatever was under there wasn't enough to keep his attention for more than twice a year. Okay. <laughs> he, he did not want to see you more than twice a year. And you know how we know? Because he didn't see you more than twice a year. One year, shit. He said, fuck that. I'm only going to see her once. Okay. He said he doesn't even want to see you twice. All right. Do, are you following? Are you following me now, Sonia? Do you see where this is going? Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? Okay, let's listen. You know, about my date. I don't know why they've never played none of those calls. But we would always talk about the guy. It was just cool. Okay. We didn't talk about him and what he was doing because he had already said he's married. I, I didn't ask anything about, you know, how's that going or, you know, this, that, other. Only time I would ask him certain about is when he's not at home. Then I would say, why aren't you at home? It's 11 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock at night. Why are you outside? What you doing? You know, mm -hmm. and that would be it other than that. And what know, would his answer be? Why was he outside 11 o'clock at night and he mm -hmm. got a whole wife at home? Why was he out? Yeah. Um, he was, he, he was calling getting your ass at that. Right. I would be he so was, he was, I, I was in town. I wasn't in town at the time. I was in Florida at this time. I was in Florida. So I wasn't even there. But still, why are he calling you at 11 o'clock instead of being home with his wife, who was probably in bed getting ready to get up the next morning for her show? Um, well, so at this time, he was dating the other girls. So he wasn't even, girls. you know what I'm saying? Know he was dating girls? You, did you I didn't know till I read the warrants. I didn't know nothing about the relationship that he was having. I never asked him what he was doing. You know, what you doing out here? Are you dating? Da, 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 da. I assumed he was faithful to the wife. Okay, so let's get. Well, you, how could you assume that this nigga? Sorry, Man, I didn't think I didn't put too much thought into that situation. I was doing other things. I was trying to open up a business, you know, and I was dating, and I was like, he would, he again was, was this part of my life. He was about to my life, so it wasn't like no whole focus on him. Only I thing that kind of learn was because he called every. Every day, like a, like, a, like a breakfast call, you know, you get his coffee. Hold on, can y'all hear me now? Okay, it looked like the Wi Fi was doing something, so let me uh, reshare again. Hold on, I'm listening to her talk this. She sounds crazy. And I don't even know if she doesn't realize she sounds crazy or she just, you know, maybe crazy don't know crazy, you know? But that sounded real crazy to me. Okay, it's trying to come. Okay, here we go. And I was just like, he always okay. calls just to say hi. Okay, well, hold on, hold on. So you said you you uh, saw him once in 2019? 19, I met him in 20. Okay, you saw him once in Twice. 20. Twice in 22. When did you guys in 22 after <laughs> now that means you've known him at, at this point about a year, a year and a half? Y'all been talking daily, you're clear that he's married. How did you all in, in get into engage in this this physical encounter you had? Because you got 
Okay, so here's the thing. You see right here, it is in this moment. It's up until this moment that I'm thinking they didn't have sex when they first met. Not that first year or that second year or even, it wasn't until, surely it was on, on you know, one of the later occasions that they saw each other that they had this sex. Now, I don't know where I got this from. I guess I'm thinking that this woman <laughs> couldn't possibly be laying down and spreading it wide with this Negro that she does not know. I didn't realize that. Okay. So it, it's in this moment that I'm finding it out. Wait a minute. You mean y'all had sex at the beginning and not at the end? So let's listen. That happened, it, that happened in 20. The one time you saw him? No. 20. The second time I saw him. Girl, what? what? Sonia! We were three hours in. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> now you see that comment right there where she says, I saw it was the second time I saw him, which is what day two after meeting him, right? And I said to her, Wait, what? And she, she said, Well, we were three hours in. I feel like that was a Freudian slip because you all are telling me that she slept with the guy uh, on her first day of meeting him. And here she's telling me it was the second day, but at the same time, she says we were three hours in, but the three hour conversation was on day one. So I feel like she was telling on herself then. Oh, Lord. Wait a minute. What does it say? Succeed to be Sonya did not go anywhere for business. That was a lie. She created a lie she created for her Tasha K interview. The truth had already been told on the first phone calls from prison calls. Oh, so it was the whole gas station situation. Is that when it came out? I need to find that call. You know, I need to go all the way back and see if I can find the calls where she talks about how she met this dude, because I really want to understand why she came over there and over on my channel. She said it over here too. Ugh. Okay, we go. We had three hours of conversation. Her daughter. Her daughter is always. I can't. This is my moderate. If tomorrow's not promised, I dare sure that there would be come when Jesus come in the bed of a Mary man. I girl. did not know he. He was married. I'm under the impression that he's single like I'm single. Hold on. And let me say this. I did not know she was eight this time either. Anything crazy, let alone doing it crazy with a married man. What? Lord. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me this Negro slept with you? Before he, he didn't sleep. He was no, he didn't. No, he, it wasn't an overnight. Okay, thing. this is that wasn't thing overnight. That threw, I, wasn't. Didn't, I didn't understand. I said, okay. Oh, she is fifty-five years old. Surely, prior to this interview in January of twenty twenty-four, surely she has heard people say. Uh, um, ref to having sex with one another as sleeping together. Am I? It, I'm sorry. Is this something new? Is this a new phrase? Uh, am I? Was I just ahead of my time? Um, it, did I make this up, or do people understand that when when you? Say you are sleeping with someone, so or I slept with so sleeping together. That typically that means y'all is knocking boots. Am I am I wrong? Am I the only one? So it threw me off when she says, Oh no, no, it wasn't um we wasn't sleeping. No, no, it wasn't an overnight. He didn't sleep with me. It wasn't an overnight affair. Girl, are you for real right now? <laughs> Moms, is she, that's, come on now. She ain't slow like that, is she? I 
said she's 55. She got two kids and a grandchild. Are you for real? What'd you say, Victor, Victor the Veil? Uh, she lacks the skills to hold a basic conversation of a slightly elevated intellect and civility. Uh, uh, civilly. Uh, she does, funny that you said civilly, okay? She doesn't use civil discourse, and there you go using it again. Although she thinks uh, all Nesto's cases are civil. Oh, Lord. But she said they ain't sleep together because he didn't spend the night, damn it. There was no sleeping. Okay? They were just frucking. In the words of Larry Reed, they were just frucking. They weren't sleeping. Get it right, Villanor. Get it right. I ain't got no good memory. Uh Hold on. Let me go back just a hair because we got to hear her. So that shit. In 22, after now that means you've known him at, at this point about a year, a year and a half. Y'all been talking daily. You're clear that he's married. How did you all in, in, get into engage in this this physical encounter you had? Because you that guys happened. Said, that happened in 20. The one time you saw him. No, 20. The second time I saw. Him. Girl, what? Yeah. We were three hours in. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> we had three hours of conversation. Her daughter, her daughter's always, I can't. This is my moderator. Shut up, girl. Shut up, her daughter. <laughs> tomorrow okay. is not promised. No. <laughs> Lord, but see, if tomorrow's not promised, I dare sure there would be caught when Jesus come in the bed of a married man. I Girl. did not know he was married. I'm under the impression that he's single like I'm single. Wait a minute. So you mean to tell me this Negro slept with you before he, he didn't sleep? He was no, he didn't. No, he, it wasn't an overnight thing. That wasn't overnight, was it? I'm like, wait, what? What? I ain't got no good memory. I don't think it was a. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Attention to my facial expression. Are y'all watching me? <laughs> I gotta go back. When she starts going into this thing about the sleeping, not sleeping thing. So did she sleep with him? What? So did she sleep with him the first day? She's trying to act like to me it was on the second day, but she told everybody else it was on the first day. Okay. But she told me it's on the second day. But I want y'all to pay attention to my damn. Uh, facial facial expressions when she starts giving me this uh, explanation of how they didn't sleep that they only fucked basically let's watch watch my face though so. married man i did Girl. not know he was married i'm under the impression that he's single like i'm single wait a minute so you mean to tell me this negro slept with you watch my face he didn't sleep he no he didn't no he, it wasn't an overnight thing that wasn't overnight, was it? Watch my face. I ain't got no good memory. I don't think that was a... <laughs> yeah, that was overnight. That was overnight. So where did this take place? I just want to know. What? In, in, like, oh, was, was, it was it at his apartment? I had an apartment. No. So he came to your place? I friend? had an apartment. Hmm? Oh, he came to your place? Yeah, I had an apartment. So that so again, another another uh 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 dip and turn in the storyline. She told the rest of y'all they did it in an RV. Uh uh she tells me she did it at her own apartment, okay? In her apartment, because she lived in Buckhead. Y'all weren't paying attention, okay? Okay, well, let's listen. I lived alone. My kids were grown and gone. Okay, because I was under the impression it happened in like an RV or something. No, we we talked in his RV okay. when I when I saw him on some other times, but no. So you met. We him. was talking in the RV, and he said, "Go in the back," and I was like, "No." <laughs> See, y'all told me. Um, um, 
see somebody else told me that she that he told her to go back and strip now she doesn't tell me that she just tells me he said go to the back and she was like uh-uh i ain't going in the back oh child petty patty i'll be trying to understand what's going on v <laughs> petty patty said um v you were trying hard to figure that thing out i was i was like wait what is you saying T Rain, damn it. Damn you. Thank you, T Rain. You see, I can't even cheer all loud and things. It's 12 39 in the AM. But girl, I'm excited on the inside. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Thank you, T Rain. Y'all, if you just got gifted a damn um, um, membership, to the V Lenore show, you better thank T Rain for it because she did it. Okay, she did that. Now, let me pull it up now so I can see who had got one. Okay, let me see who had did it. Who had did it? Okay, so it looks like uh, Nick S and Shania Pearson and B Williams. And go row row and three one three the best side yes thank you T Rain for gifting five people memberships thank you love you are so sweet you are so freaking generous thank you so much all right okay let's 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 the first time we brought and I was like. No, like we just we was into type situations and all that type of stuff. I was like, mm -mm, Sonia, that would be I'm, weird. Now I'm I'm more perplexed because you said you met him. Y'all spent that day <laughs> together, three hours talking, getting to know each other. Then I'm assuming y'all are on the phone nonstop, and then and the next time you see him, we weren't see, on the phone nonstop. Um, okay, so that's even, I'm trying to. Let me help you out, Sonya. Can y'all hear me? Oh, shit. This damn thing, y'all. Ooh, me in this. Hello, can y'all hear me? Lord, Lord, Lord. Can y'all hear me? Oh, Lord, this darn internet. I got to get, I got to, I got to figure something out. Okay, y'all can hear me. Okay, so let me reshare. It looks like it's sharing on this end. Oh, wait stop there okay i'm gonna reshare again Ciao. that's what i'm saying sonia you need to let me try to help you out okay because you over here said no we went on the phone all the time okay so bitch you're making it worse you don't know this nigga you see him one day the next day you screwing him okay uh uh then you don't see him again for let you tell you don't see him again for a year so, so either a the nigga, either okay. Let me keep my thoughts to myself. Here you are throwing it at this dude. You give it to him. He takes it, and then he don't even see your ass again for a year. Now you you're not gonna look. I I didn't write this story. You did, okay. And I'm telling you. Your writers are trash because ain't no way in hell I'd be out here telling the damn story about myself giving up the cooch. And then it, it's so bad that the nigga don't want to see me again for a year. The hell is going on? <sighs> but now you're telling me if that wasn't bad enough, now you, you know, you're telling me y'all weren't on the phone day in and day out. Oh, no, y'all wasn't even on the phone like that. So there's no tie there. You you claim you weren't even all that physically attracted to him because he was old. I need you to help me with this story. Because whoever wrote this shit needs to go back, pull out some, some erasers, and erase this shit or get some white out. And y'all need to write this shit over again because this is ridiculous. I, I just can't. This storyline is, is, is trash. It's trash. 
and, and whoever wrote it is made your vagina out to be trash. So would you do better? Okay, let's listen. So this is a 55 year old woman who is telling another grown ass woman that if a man is willing to sleep with you, he must be single. There's no need to ask questions because if they're doing it, they're single. Yeah. Oh, wait, I'm not child. I'm sorry. I'm over here. Didn't even share the screen, y'all. I'm sorry. Damn it, man. Hold on. Can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me? Hello? Testing, testing, testing. Doesn't seem like y'all can hear me. Hold on. Okay, can y'all hear me now? Okay. Oh, Lord. All right. Here you not the video. Okay, okay. Well, it should be better this time. Okay, let me bring it back. I just couldn't understand how this girl was trying to justify this ridiculousness. Okay, let's go back maybe a minute. It was talking about all kind of like non-romantic type situations and all that type of stuff. I was like, oh, that would be weird. Now I'm, I'm more perplexed because you said you met him. Y'all spent that day together, three hours talking, getting to know each other. Then I'm assuming y'all are on the phone nonstop. And then the next time you see him. We weren't on the phone nonstop. Um, okay, so, okay, but that's even worse. I'm trying to help it. Okay? Yeah, it was, no, help we it. wasn't on the phone now. I'm totally trying to help her. Do you see how I'm trying to help her? Do you see how it's so ridiculous that she doesn't see how, 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 how the story sounds ridiculous and how it makes her look? I mean, it does not make her look like a, a, a prominent woman. Okay. Th this is not the behavior of a prominent woman. No, I'm a prominent woman. She's not a prominent woman ridiculous i'll stop and um, that's worse because i'm gonna tell you why it's worse so then you you I mean y'all did you, you jumped right into the i mean i'm not judging you for wanting to engage with him but for you have not have to even ask whether or not he was either seeing somebody or married knowing how I, he's you know what i just assume if a person went there you got to be single that's just my why being you naive. Think that? Man, this, man. this is a 55 year old woman and if somebody would 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 lay down with her then surely absolutely surely and i don't mean surely i mean surely okay then surely surely he's single okay not surely but surely you see what i'm saying he's single because why he laid down with her so 55 that's what the 55 year old said and i just be thinking the 55 year old who works in strip bars strip clubs any kind of damn it doesn't even have to be a, a strip club you in any club you know this how how this works are you kidding me if you live to be 55 and have two children I, it, yeah and if you've done time in the in the pen yeah i think you know a little bit more than you leading us to believe ma'am Okay, you cannot possibly be this damn naive. No, I'm not going. I won't. I can't. Won't happen.
Make people move like I move, cause I, I, I. He's so. a dude. He has a dick. Do you have a dick? Because that's no, how they work. <laughs> <laughs> and in walks V. Lenore. <laughs> She, Lenore has kept her cool as long as she can. And here we are. Here she comes. Here she comes. Wait a minute, ma'am. Um, I'm sorry. Do you have a dick? Because the people I know with dicks, this is how they act. Okay? Now, uh, if you have a dick and you don't act like this, then I get it. That's why you didn't know it, it, it was impossible. Right? But I'm here to tell you, that's not how people with dicks move. I just want you to know, but let's listen. That's how they think with them things. Okay. Let me try. You know what? Call me napping on that one. But I I, I really like I don't know. What was my head at in that period of my life? What was I thinking about? I don't know. I don't know. I was, you know what it could have been too? You know what it could have been at the same time? Because I was not looking to be in a relationship. So I was asking questions or like, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't really interested. But at the same time, I'm assuming you're not with nobody because you're in my face like this. Maybe that's where I was at. But I know I wasn't trying to, yeah, you, you know, know be in a relationship. Son, hmm. we ain't no spring chickens, okay? Thank you. I'll be 54. I had to think about it. I'll be 54 next month, okay? Ain't no way in hell I'm going to assume. Now, you and you worked in nightclubs too? I, you can't tell. Yeah, I worked in night, but I worked in. I worked with dude. females. I worked with strippers and stuff like that. Ma'am, and and me again. She sounds foolish as hell to me. This isn't about whether or not you worked with females or males. If you work in a club, you know how men get down. You're watching them. You're watching them at, at, at their rawest form. When they're really putting the, first of all, if nothing else, strippers and people in the strip club, those women know men better than anybody. They know just how far a nigga will go, what they can do to get more out of him. You know, they, they are masters of the game and you can't, you can't just run something over on a stripper. It's her job to be very mindful and, and understand her clientele. So I say that again. It makes no sense what you're saying, Sonia. If you worked in this type of environment and you want us to believe that you manage strippers, but you couldn't manage showing them how, how men work, girl, you must think I'm a fool. Because I don't even believe you believe that shit. Um. Hi, Miss Buckeye 99. Thank you again. Rewind that V mic drop. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. These, she sounds like a fool. And she thinks we a bunch of fools listening to her. So here we go. No, he wasn't on the phone nonstop. And um, that's worse. Because I'm gonna tell you why it's worse. So then you you telling me y'all did you jumped right into the I mean, I'm not judging you for wanting to engage with him, but for you have not to even ask whether or not he was either seeing somebody or married, knowing how he's. I, you know what? I just assume if a person went there, you got to be single. That's just my. Why being do you think that? Man, I just be thinking people move like I move because I, I, I. He's so. a dude. He has a dick. Do you have a dick? Because that's no, how I they don't. Work. <laughs> That's how they think with them things. Okay. Let me try. You know what? Call me napping on that one, but I, I, I really like. I don't know, what was my head at in that period of my life? What was I thinking about? I don't know. I don't know. I was, you know what it could have been too? You know what it could have been at the same time? Because I was not looking to be in a relationship. So I wasn't really asking relationship questions or like, you know what I'm saying? Because I wasn't really interested. But at the same time, I'm assuming you're not with nobody because you're in my face like this. Maybe that's where I was at. But I know I wasn't trying to, yeah, you, you know, know be in no relationship. Son, hmm. we ain't no spring chickens, okay? I'll be 54. I had to think about it. I'll be 54 next month, okay? Ain't no way in hell I'm going to assume. Now, you and you worked in nightclubs too? I, 
you can't tell yeah, me. Yeah, I worked in night, but I worked in I worked with dude, females. I worked with strippers and stuff like that. Yeah, you worked with females, but men came. Men came, but I really wasn't. I didn't really engage with the guys because again, I was over the managers. The managers would talk to the customers. Girl. I pretty much dealt with the finance, the structure, but and I kind of dealt with the girls because the guys was always trying to screw them. So I would deal with the girls a lot. Okay, you may have dealt with the girls a lot. I get it, but you had to know in our fifties how these niggas work, how they how they function. And I, I when I say that, I mean maybe well, like because he was an old man. I, I I wasn't thinking he was moving like that. Maybe that's so what it was. Man, I, I, I can't call it because I don't know what my I can't a thousand percent say. Maybe because he was old, I didn't think he was moving like that. Because you know people grow old, and they get slow. Maybe that's what I was thinking that he wasn't young and out here doing it all, and he might be old and slow, but he wasn't. He was old and, and doing it like he was young, and that was even. But aren't how? Oh, oh. Never mind. That shocked to me when I read the um about the liquor. When I read the warrants and found out about the other women, I was shocked because in my head I thought he was a faithful husband. He can't be a faithful husband because he just fucked you. No, this was oh, this was after all of that. Like you know, we agreed just to be oh, cool. Wait a minute. You know, hold but, on, hold on. wait a minute. Um, <laughs> Patty, Patty, where you go? Patty, Patty said, "This is when V jumped in bed with the other bloggers." <laughs> And she threw me in bed with him at this point, honey, because she was like, "Oh, this bitch, she sounds too much like these other folks, or she, she, she's picking up on the bullshit too, like the rest of them." Lord have mercy. Oh, uh, y'all agreed to be cool though. After but I never asked him like, "What you do? What you out here doing?" Like, you know, you see, like you cheating. I never, I never ever asked him anything about what his him and his penis was doing. Girl, you killing me. It wasn't my place because. Cause you know we just friends, so, but I just assumed. Place if, if I, lay I down just assumed that, him, that he was just a married person, you know, being married. I didn't because I was well, shocked. I, I mean, if it's on the phone call. I was shocked. I was like, boy, I wasn't shocked like mad, but I was just shocked like, oh my! I thought I thought because I thought he was a faithful husband. Call me naive, but I was just Mary. I was like, damn, damn, you was doing, you was busy. Wait a minute. This doesn't make sense. How could you think he was a faithful husband when you know that he just slept with you? See, this doesn't make any sense. Either you knew he was married or you didn't know he was married. You said you slept with him on day two. You said you found out he was married two weeks later. You say that when you read the warrants, though, two years later, Hello. Two years. What is up with this two? As a matter of fact, so you said a. You didn't know he was married when you slept with him two days in. You found out he was married two weeks after you slept with him, but you said you thought he was a faithful husband until you read the warrants two years later, once he was arrested. Ma'am, which is it? Because two years later, when you read the warrants, you couldn't have possibly have thought he was a faithful husband because he fucked you. Yeah, 22, 21, 22. He started laughing. That's and I was like, boy. About. That's all <laughs> you know about. There's, trust me, there's. It could be something that ain't even documented. About. Ain't no telling. That's what I'm saying. Ain't no telling. Exactly. Yeah, ain't no telling. How? I mean. So okay, we talking about this encounter. You all right, don't, don't like, just make that be right. I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe. Might be okay. some mom. Okay, let me say, girl, you're right. You know, whoever says she making this shit best, she go. She that's exactly what she's doing right here. She's trying to skirt around every time she says something. She steps her foot into some shit, and I'm catching it. Then she moves moves around it a little bit. She moves the goal post a little. Further. Um, she is on. She is full of shit. You hear me? And let's get something else straight. I'm I'm not trying to. This is not to dog her. And and I mean this. I mean this. It's gonna sound like an insult, but I 
I don't mean it as an insult. I mean it as a true reality check in this moment. This interview with her whole look right here, she looks mature, not old, not old, but not young. You know what I'm saying? Let me say that one more time. I'm not trying to dog her out. She looked 55. If you ask me, if nothing else, 45, 47, at least. Okay. Right here with these glasses on. Uh, I, I don't know this whole look. Um, I don't necessarily see a bunch of young dudes like, yo, let me get you. Now, I think from her, her, uh, her body, her build rather is very small, you know, and I could see, you know, younger guys maybe, you know, going for in that way. But, uh, if I look at her look, even right how she's, there's nothing. And when I say nothing, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the way she is dressed or looks right here, but she looks age appropriate. She looks like she's 50 years old. Okay. We're not going to sit here. Maybe not 50, you know, black 50, not, not white 50. Okay. Black 50. Okay. Um, she looked black 50 to me. Okay. I'm just saying, Miss Buckeye 99, she did the memberships. Thank you, Miss Buckeye 99, girl. OH. Okay. OH. Actually, y'all know. Y'all don't know nothing about this. Okay. Look, this one, well, I mean, she ain't my homegirl, homegirl, but you know, she, 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 you know. She's still a Buckeye, okay? Um, so, you know, I'm just saying what I'm saying, okay? O-H, okay? Mm -hmm. She knows what to say. Uh, with that said, <laughs> with that said, uh-uh, who's this Terenda? Now, look, you done come up in here being mean. Look at you. Not she look 55 to 60. No, 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 no. She don't look no older than 55, okay? She don't look no older than 55, I don't think. I think she right at that 50. She look her age now. I mean, she look black 55, okay? We can't help it if we look younger than the average 50 and 55, okay? But she look black 55, if you ask me. Now she may not look white 55 or, 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 you know, some of these other ethnicity 55s, but she definitely looks black 55 and there's nothing wrong with black 55. I'll take any day of the week. Sure will. And, uh, but, but I, I just think it's interesting that she never, it, it's like, she doesn't see her herself, um, uh, at her, 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 big old age. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, let's get back to Buckeye, um, uh, Miss Buckeye, fit, um, shoot, I was about to say Miss Buckeye 55, <laughs> Miss Buckeye 99 and her gifted memberships. So let's see, um, Sharon, Tamara, Villanex, Jay Shani, and Truth Religion. You better thank Miss Buckeye 99 in the chat. Thank you okay uh-huh thank you so much for growing our membership welcome to club v everybody ew um and wait a minute uh-oh gym chick 158 uh-huh followed up right behind miss buckeye 99 i said oh and miss buckeye 99 said i o okay and gym chick 158 said I O. Now, um, does that mean does that mean that Jim Chick one fifty eight is also? Um, uh oh, hold on. Help is requesting to restart the computer. No. Okay. Um, does that mean should we assume that Jim Chick uh, one fifty eight is actually also a Buckeye of sorts? Huh? Is that what I'm supposed to believe? If that is the case, hello, hello, fellow Buckeyes. Yes. All right. Um, Victor the Veil, thank you for the super chat. She thought she snatched the baller from his older wife, 
who she thought she looks better than and she wasn't sweating the marriage or making some coin. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. I agree with you. Sure do. Let's listen. Um, we'll let this go for maybe a, two or three more minutes and then I'm going to call it quits for tonight because we're at two and a half hours now and I do want to come out here tomorrow. We'll get some more of this in. Uh, and then we'll try to finish it up at least by Monday because I'm leaving town on Tuesday and I don't know that I'm going to have time Tuesday. Yeah, I can't promise I'll have time on Tuesday to go live, but maybe Wednesday late, but we'll see. But we'll, we'll, you know, get through a couple more minutes and then we'll call it quits. So let's, let's. say this, let me say this. I know, and, and I'm only bringing this up now because we're here talking about this little encounter. And I'm not trying to get in detail of your intimate business, but I would be curious to understand when you heard in the warrants about, was it in the warrants where it talks about toys and liquid Viagra and stuff like that? Did you see any of those things? It's in the warrant, but it doesn't talk about the use of it. It just said he possessed that at the time of the arrest. It was, it was well, in his bag. To know he uses it, he wouldn't have it if he didn't. Yeah, I mean, what, what was that point? Uh, well, they didn't talk about the use of it. They just talked about he had it on him. Bitch, why do you think he had it? He either he using it or somebody else is using it. Well, like, girl, what did you did you ever see any sitting around anywhere? I mean, just we're just asking questions here. Did you see any masks with zippers? Um, did you did you uh, see the toys, ma'am? Mm -hmm. I mean, it it, yeah. it it was right. It was on him when he got arrested. They they um we know they mentioned it right. Which oh, um, um he had other things on him that they could have mentioned. I think they were just trying to be messy when they did that because it was no need to mention that because they weren't illegal items to have. Man. It's important that they mention everything he had in his possession. Okay. And ma'am, what are the things you're saying that he had on him that they did not mention or that would have been more relevant? Exactly. What is it that he had on him, on himself, that was more relevant than those items? When you're talking about somebody who partakes in certain activities, who is involved in possible trafficking, who is involved in possible assault. Can you tell me like how this is not relevant information to know that he had on it? Girl. And then we was in court and we asked, they asked, did you test the items to see if, if any of the victims situation was on there? And she was like, no. So what was the whole point in bringing it up? You didn't well, test it. You. you didn't try to link wait, it to wait, anything. Wait, girl, you veering off. The, come back, come back. I want to know, did you see any of these things? Don't play with me. I asked you a damn question and I ain't crazy. I, I, well, maybe I am. Okay. I mean, okay. I'm crazy. Okay. Lies. Okay. I lied too. Okay. I am crazy, but I'm not stupid. And what I do know is I asked a very serious question and, and a very direct question. And you looked over it like I hadn't said a damn thing or like, or like I was going to forget what the fuck I had asked. Okay, I'm very clear on what I had asked. I said, did you see that shit when you was over there in the RV or when you was in his, wherever you were, okay? When y'all did whatever y'all did, wherever y'all did it, okay? Did you see it, ma'am? Stay here, stay with me, over here, I'm over here. Stop veering over there, I'm over here. Damn it. Or I never, I never ever, say? um, Never um, with the Viagra thing, no. No. Look at me. Look at my face. Toys. Yeah, yeah, but not the Viagra thing. Okay, um, so the toys did happen. And you know what? Too, but then oh. I've never, like, I've never dated nobody that old or, you know, dealt with nobody. Y'all, I am silly. This is who I am, okay? This is me all day, every day while you bullshitting, okay? <laughs> 
Woo, ciao. I'm so glad I have this content because this content just lets me let it all hang out, okay? The ridiculousness of it all, okay? You get to hear me be smart about some of this shit and just as silly as these motherfuckers are in, a ne in the next minute, okay? It is what it is. Get into it. This is Club V and this is how it gets down over here, okay? I do what I want the way I want when I want. Now, let's listen for a couple of more minutes. Why do that? Oh, so, um, hi, love, love. Let me say this. Love, love is saying what I said. Faithful husband messing with you how? So he can't be faithful and talking to you on the phone. Listen, me and him was not having a, um, Thank when, you, we love, love. when we decided to be friends, we weren't having messy conversations. And again, that was a, a, a one-time thing that I was like, eh, we ain't doing that no more. So I don't know if that was a one-time thing. Look that at me. Look how I'm looking at her. Like, I, I can't even hold it together anymore. I'm just looking at her like, girl, who are you talking to? What is you talking about at this point? Ma'am, you're wearing on my nerve. I've only got like two nerves left. And you're wearing on one of them. One of them is worn out. Okay, now now look, when you get on this last one, we're gonna have some problems, okay? Cause I'm gonna cuss you out, but I'm 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 keeping it cool, I'm keeping it cute. I'm staying right here and I'm asking you, don't jump off of this nerve you are on, okay? Cause if you get over there on that last one, bitch. And he just happened to because you know, some guys cheat one time. It's not, you know, you got people that only cheat one time. You I didn't know he was a serial cheater. Sonia. You know, Sonia. he's a serial cheater, but I didn't know at the time. <laughs> Again, I didn't ask. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So let's let's move on now. I'm wasn't my business. Now. Once I said we just gonna be cool and friends, wasn't my business because my other friends, whatever they out here doing, I don't, I don't even ask because their penises. Once I say we friends, their penises is not my business. But I don't even that, ask. But, but if it I ain't touch it, let me say this: it was your business before all that shit happened. Hello. It was your business. And next time, don't let that happen again. You better ask the right questions, okay? Oh, I do. I'm sorry. Am I talking to a 55-year-old woman or am I talking to a 15-year-old woman? I said, am I talking to a 55-year-old or a 15-year-old? Telling a woman to ask the right questions before you ask them, okay? Not after. Not years after, okay? Before it happens. My God, today. All right. Look, that's it. That's all. I cannot. I, I, uh, uh. She, she got on my nerves that night. She is not going to get on my nerves tonight as well. I won't let it happen. No, ma'am. No, ma'am, Pam. Okay. Well, with that said, I want to thank all of y'all. I mean, all of you. Each and every last one of you. OK, I want to thank you for coming on over here to my house, to my club. Yeah. OK, we thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> In the words of Nesto. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, we thank you. OK, we thank you for coming on over here. We thank you for, you know, all the all the laughs in the chat. Thank you for the donations. Thank you, C.A. Williams, Deborah Mosley, T. Rain, Miss Buckeye 99, Victor the Veil. Thank you for the super chats um, as well as the memberships. Oh, also, also uh, on the last, um, let me go back to it real quick. On the last live, I did not uh think i didn't realize i had received a cash app from uh, brenda i'm not gonna say uh any more than that but brenda thank you so much for the cash app i really really appreciate it honey that's gonna be my little travel money <laughs> like in the, when i'm in the airport i might grab something to eat with that okay so thank you so much thank you everybody for coming in tonight again i will be back tomorrow 
we're going to go a little deeper in here, okay, into this live. We are one hour and two minutes into this video. We still have an hour and 29 minutes to go. Yes, I know. It was long. That's why I said we can't handle We sat through a lot that night. It, we don't have to put ourselves through that same stress again. We can just take this bit by bit by bit. You hear me? And break this shit all the way down. Okay? So um, I hope you guys had a wonderful Saturday. I will see you on Sunday on the Lord's good day. And uh, I hope you get some rest in between time and in the, in, uh, in the meantime. Okay? Thank you again. Everybody, love you all. Smooches. Oh, 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 o